my name's Quack, and this is going to be a gameplay to accompany a review for Rockin' Cats. The link will be in the box below. Now, don't expect much. I'm not the greatest at these games, but hey, that's what the internet's for. You're going to mock me, you're going to laugh at me, and we're just going to move on. So, and with that being said, let's start the game. Rockin' Cats, a 1991 Atlas game. I love this game. I love Atlas. I still I love Atlas to this day. So let's move on. Now I will go through. A, I have went through a lot of this in the review, but in case you haven't seen it, here's what it basically boils down to: each of these channels represent an episode, much too much like a TV show. Once you get done with all four, it unlocks the final level. And there's a shop here, which once I get money, I can uh, buy upgrades. And we got a bonus game. So, with that being said, we'll start with channel one, Downtown Street. Now, what I really like about this game, it's got a real 1920s feel. Everything from the mobster feel to it. We, we got weasels with Tommy guns. Now, I don't understand why... Uh, glove gun is you know that there but I don't care you got the whole trope of the alley cat aha uh -huh. clever one Atlas got alley cat here <laughs> well I just can't believe y'all just got this <laughs> name Wiley cat wow um he is going to save his girlfriend Jill. Now, basically, a this group of dogs. Oh, awesome! I never done that one before. <laughs> um, no, 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 no. <sighs> I have no words for that one. Anyway, back to what I was saying. It's got a nineteen twenties feel to it. It's just really nice. Every every th little nuance is on this. At least for this first level, which we'll go into levels. The other talk about the other levels as we hit them. Um. So, it just all these nuances are just really cool to create an aesthetic for this game that get off of me. That really sends a message that this is a 1920s era. So, let's hopefully get to the next screen here. Uh, every. Every level is going to have a mid boss and a and an end boss. Uh, the bo the punch glove here can be used to swing. Um, like I said, it's going to be able to where later I could get upgrades for it, which is going to be fantastic. So here's the first mini boss coming up here. This is one of my one that makes me laugh. It's a chicken. Now, I don't understand why a chicken has gotten in the war between cats and dogs. All I know is this punching glove is punching it so hard that it's uh, laying eggs. Um, it just changed colors. Back in the day when bosses had multiple phases and actually enraged uh, to become harder as you game done, it's dead. So let's uh, move forward. So, just go over some basics here. Number one, she's trapped in a train. And we got a little helper here that gives me their skateboard and so they can travel a subway. Dark subway by themselves. Yeah, that guy ain't gonna last long. We got little goblins here. Oh, parlor dogs. Yeah, that. And for some reason, I don't understand the logic behind it. The skateboard is follows me, so if I go back left, it follows me left. Yeah, video games. It's got reality down 100% of the time. <laughs> um, to go into further, why am I doing this? Well, I'll be honest with you. I work three jobs. Uh, one more seasonal than the other. Um, I work anywhere between 55, uh, 50, 55 hours a week between, my, between the two main jobs. And I just want to reach out 
I'm taking a chance and put myself at the mercy of the internet. And no, I'm not going to be one of those ragers that if you put something mean about me in there, comment below, I'm going to blow, blah, 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 blah. No. Okay. I, 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 deal, with, I deal with it all every day at my, well, my main job. Um, no, you, it ain't going to happen. So, I'm going to, uh, I, this is just a reach out. Start a hobby. Most of my workers give me the advice, hey, do this. It'll, you know, it will help. Ow. So, I am. And hopefully, y'all enjoy it. So, how? So, we're again approaching the first boss of the level here. Girlfriend cried for help. He's gritting his teeth. And big bulldog himself taunts you saying, give you some of my heavy sound, hit it, bull bam. Simple boss fight, well hopefully it's gonna be a one and done. The guy is gonna send out notes if you love him, stay out too long, dodge the lights, and play whack-a-mole. Russ's band there is just for aesthetic. <laughs> But no, I want to reach out. You know, maybe do something new. Uh, I watch a lot of YouTube myself. Uh, I watch a lot of channels, which we'll go into in an, uh, probably in the next episode. But why am I telling you this? Well, because the thing is, and I, other than the fact that I just died, is that there are people out there that just feel the same way about me, just feel worn out and just everything about whether it's because of bills whether it's because of school and that they just don't really they know they should get out more but they just don't and they just feel trapped see I've never been the going out type guy party guy and I am happy about that you know I don't have a criminal record on me uh, if you do I'm not saying anything bad against you um, I need to really focus on this guy um, it just I have felt trapped because you know I don't the same things that some people find fun I've just always played video games I've been playing video games since two years old and I've been playing other, more than just the old the classic titles to say like the Mario the Mario's the Halo's the Call of Duty's which by the way that's another rant for another time um, and there he is dead and this is what I have found solace in. So, what's going to happen here? I'm going to go ahead into this episode right now. When we get back, we'll take on episode two. And just like the claw and Inspector Gadget, next time, Gadget, next time. Um, sorry, random thought. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this. And until next time, good morning, have a great morning, have a great afternoon, great night, whatever time it is, you have a good one, and until next time, see ya!